Hello beautiful family in Jesus, I'm just showing you, Loretta's already at work behind me and uh, just showing you the streets where we're preaching and behind me the street where we are, big long street in the city of Hull preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and I'm just about to start, i just put it in this tripod I don't know why it was pausing, but here we are on the streets of Hull. Um, this is about my fifth attempt at making this video, and I just want to get started because uh, the time is short. Time is short. Jesus is coming. People need to get on board quick before it's too late. So here we go. God bless you, Hull. We have come here to tell you the good news. We have come here to tell you the gospel of Jesus Christ, which when you believe it, you will be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody who believes. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and lay hold of your salvation. The gospel of Jesus Christ is this, how that Jesus died on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you're not ashamed to say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is for you to be saved. God made it so simple for a little child to understand it, because the Bible tells us that God wants all to be saved. God wants none to perish, and all can be saved. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming for his church. At any moment now, the Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then all believers, all Christians which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. Don't be left behind, because immediately after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, immediately after will start the great tribulation. The great tribulation. Jesus said it would be a time so bad that there's never been a time like it, and there never will be again. The great tribulation of the apocalypse will start immediately after the rapture of all Christians up into heaven. You don't want to be here for what is going to start on this world. It will be a time so terrible that men's hearts shall faint with terror when they see what is coming upon this world. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Please, we urge you, we urge you and implore you and encourage you to lay hold of your salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are not saved by our own works. The Bible tells us we are saved by God's grace through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves, it is the free gift of God. 
It's not by our good works, lest any man should boast. Without the Lord Jesus, you won't make it into heaven, and you'll find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die, where the fire never goes out. Outer darkness, hell, for everybody who rejects the love of the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you want to make it to heaven and not, not find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, then please believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us, for all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. That means the destruction of the soul in hell for eternity. But the free gift of God, which the Bible tells God wants to give everyone, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. That means you will land in hell unless you repent, change your mind from your unbelief and believe the gospel of Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Today is the acceptable day of salvation. That if you shall confess Jesus as Lord, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Please don't hesitate any longer because we are clearly, evidently, in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming for everybody that has believed on him in the rapture. And then this world shall be turned upside down during the great tribulation, during the apocalypse. Seven years when God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord our God who supplies all our needs. He feeds us, he clothes us, he gives us houses to live in. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and unto our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Return unto the Lord your God. Lay hold of your salvation. Because Jesus said, unless you repent, change your mind and believe, then you will all perish. Which means you will land in hell if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for everybody that believes no matter what you have done. God bless you all. We haven't come here to judge you. We haven't come here to condemn you. We've come here to tell you that this is the last call into the kingdom of God before the rapture of the church takes place. The rapture is when the Lord Jesus descends from heaven and he gathers up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you rejected the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Just checking how many minutes being on. Only eight minutes, I'll continue. God bless you whole. Lay hold of your salvation if you haven't done so at this very late hour by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, which is blinding everybody, distracting everybody. The devil wants to distract you away with whatever he can to stop you from going to the Lord Jesus and laying hold of your salvation. Stop listening to the devil. He's only come to steal, to kill and to destroy. 
Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. He loves you, but you've got a choice. You've got free will. He will not force himself on you. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. If you don't want to find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, for eternity, then stop gambling with your soul. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For anybody and everybody that believes, no matter what you have done, we urge you in these final moments of the end of this age to lay hold of your salvation, secure your place in heaven by believing the gospel. Do not reject the Lord Jesus, the very one who could grant you everlasting life and write your name in heaven. Time is short. Time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his church at any moment. Any moment, the Lord shall descend from heaven above and he shall gather up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you rejected the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. All can be saved. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you've done. Turn to the Lord Jesus because he will welcome you with open arms. No matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus. Lay hold of your eternal salvation and your eternal security. Don't gamble with your life. Don't take the gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. Because there is. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine which one you spend eternity in. Please consider what I am saying. Because this life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, change your minds, and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you will be saved, sealed, justified, sanctified, heaven-bound, and rapture-ready. Jesus said, he made it very clear, he said, unless you repent, change your mind, believe the gospel, then you will all perish. Don't be one of those people who only find out how real hell is when they land there. Lay hold of your salvation if you haven't done so already. Because Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind, you will all perish. Repent therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation by simply believing the simple gospel of Jesus Christ. God made it so simple for you to be saved. God made it simple enough for a little child to understand. Because God loves his creation. He wants you to be saved. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. No matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Stop gambling with your soul. There's a heaven. There's a hell. Just as real as this life that we're living in. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And Jesus said, unless you repent and believe the gospel, hell is where you will land. Please. Lay hold of your salvation. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall be resurrected first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture. Don't be left behind. Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind and believe, then you will perish. God wants none to perish, 
but he's left us with free will. He's left us with a choice. You can either accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life and Jesus Christ, or you can reject him and only find out how real hell is when you land there. Please. I urge you, I implore you, to lay hold of your salvation if you haven't done so at this very late hour. For the Lord Jesus is coming for his church. God bless you all. I pray, God, that you bless this entire street. I pray you bless this entire city in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless everybody who's listening to your word. For all have sinned. If we say that we have no sin, then we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and his word and his truth are not in us. God bless you. Just upload this one quick so to let you know that.